chick married her teacher. They're going to come in here in a second. Are they going to be honest about what was going on while yeah. she was a student? Yeah. Hi, my name is Jeff. Hi, I'm Angie. And we came down to New York to see Howard Stern and tell him about our story. So you two are married. Mm -hmm. And there's a bit of a uh, age disparity between the two of you. Small gap, yeah. <laughs> so there's an interesting story behind how this all came together. We think it's interesting, yeah. All right, I'll save this for the studio and let you tell Howard all about it. Great, thanks. All right, guys. So this dude's a teacher, and he picked out, like, the hottest chick in his class and married her. Banged her. Yeah, I got Let's fired. Let's see when he, you know, probably spotted her on the first day. Oh, Had yeah. he done this before? Well, my point is that this has been going on for time on end. Yeah, but, you know, uh, the teacher's in a special position. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this, man. That, if, if, hey, if it was my daughter and she's running off with the teacher, I'd be fucking pissed. Yeah, and so he can just sit there and pick and choose. And he looks better than all the other little high school boys. And I think she... I think oh, it he, looks like Will. Uh, yeah, that is Will. <laughs> he took her virginity, too. Oh, my goodness. Hey, man. What do you say? Oh, wow. Hot little uh, wife there. <laughs> the high school student. What did he teach, by the way? Sex ed, I believe. <laughs> uh, must be, right? Let's see. What what number of uh, mics are these guys on? One Gary? and two. One and two. That, that will help. Hi, guys. Hi. So, uh, should I call you Mr. Whatever your name is? or Are you in, in you know, incognito, or can Jeff, we use your name? Jeff and Angie is fine. Jeff and Angie is fine. Now, yeah. Jeff, you are a uh, teacher. Mm-hmm. And in high Angie, school, I hope. He was your high school teacher. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you do look young. Oh, <laughs> holy cow! How old are you, dude? Me? Yeah. Uh, I just turned uh, 45 last week. 45. And how old is she? 19. You're 19. Oh. And how old were you? Were you a senior in high school when he met you? Yeah. Yeah. And how old were you then? 17? 17. 17. Actually, uh, two months short of 18, to, just to clarify. Wow. Uh, uh, yeah, nah. he's counting uh, every every second. You have to. You have to. <laughs> were your parents livid that the teacher was fucking you? Um, you could say that. Yeah, that. sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Well the, went, well, the way it went down, I mean, before we get into it, I mean, we're not here to, I mean, advocate. Advocate this, you're not advocating? No, it? no. Because Why? It sounds like it's great for you. <laughs> it's great for us, but, I mean, it's it's been a tough road, and we're not here to, to give advice or give, you know, advocate. Nobody Tell, thought you were. Not, you're not okay. writing a how-to book <laughs> no, for other but, male teachers? Uh, but because of uh, what we Benji's going to go out and marry one of his students. <laughs> All right, we tweeted a picture of the couple at Stern Show so everyone could see what we're talking okay. about. Well, you're, you're a very attractive young lady. Is it true you've never had sex with any other guy except for your teacher? Just. Just Jeff. <laughs> you were a virgin when you met him. Correct. I want the truth now. Don't give me some horse shit. How soon did he get in your pants? Actually, honestly, he respected me and because I, I had never had sex before, so I was a little, right. let's, you know, go You were a little nervous. And he respected me. Like, I didn't have to ever say no. And he never pushed. He never... He was he was awesome, and that's well, why. Well, don't congratulate yourself. He was a child. No. Yeah, Stop. I mean, she's a kid, and no. you've never had sex with any other person but him. Correct. But I mean, do you start to wonder what it would be like to have sex with other guys? No, that's all. a couple of years away. Yeah. <laughs> she's only nineteen. All right, so let me understand something, Jeff. What kind of teacher were you? Uh, I was a, a bad one. No, <laughs> you're a bad teacher. I, I was actually, he was uh, Mr. Cool. He high was... school teacher for ten years. Um, were you was... married at the time? Oh, hold on. I was nominated for uh, Teacher of the Year three years. Oh, right. God. Three years in a row. Um, <laughs> it shows you what Teacher of the Year means. Man, <laughs> what oh type man. of teacher were you? Uh, high school taught government econ and uh, psychology. Okay. So you went to college. You oh, trained yeah. to be a teacher. You always wanted to be a teacher? Uh, no, I felt uh, originally I wanted to be a professional um, umpire. Right. And um, thought I'd better go back to school. I was going through a divorce, and there was a custody issue involved, so I thought best option was to go back to school and um, teach mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um, you teach in the class and was this your how many years had you been teaching 10 10 years mm -hmm. never had any affairs with any other students I had been married for uh, 11 years up to that point had never gone outside my marriage for any reason had never hit on a uh, student or but some of those students are hot they're pretty tempting right um, you see it from a different perspective when you're older because you r recognize that, um, you know, an attractive young girl, it, when she becomes a woman, is going to be, you know, a good catch or, or a, you know. A, a and Angie's some catch, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that was, was very attractive. That's, so when she walked into the so class. So she walks in that particular year. Did you, did you notice her <laughs> right away? Um, she probably tells the story better than I do. Angie, right. what's the story yeah. here? He noticed you right away? Well, yeah, I got my senior schedule, and I was excited to have him because I had heard about him the whole, my whole three years. Like, 
he's so awesome. He's so hot. You you know, he's the best teacher ever. And so I was like, sweet, I get to see what he's all about. And right. first day, I was like, this guy? <laughs> really? You didn't but, think he was then, that hot? Right off the bat, I was like, eh. But then, by like, day two and three, I started to see how cool he was. Because I, you liked oh. his teaching style. Yeah, and he just, he was able to relate to, to the kids really well and get through to him. And I was like, that's awesome. And when you were starting your senior, this was senior year, right? Mm -hmm. You're starting your senior year, I imagine you pick out your outfit to wear uh, for the first day of school. What did you wear that first day to school? Mini dress? No, I, I actually was, like, I dressed modestly. I wasn't, you know, because I was growing up in a Mormon home, so I had, you know, jeans and Right, a but, I mean, shirt. today you're wearing a tight shirt. I can see you have very big boobs. Uh, you were growing up in a Mormon a home. For that. Right? You love that. <laughs> uh, in high school, for a girl to have a C, I'd say you're a C cup. Am I correct? Um, yeah. Or maybe even a D. 32C. No, 32C. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and your teacher noticed right away you were 32C. No, no. Even in that no, uh, strange, I, I, crazy our, our secret attraction. underwear. It's funny how your, a C can get you an A. <laughs> <laughs> Only in America. She, uh, yes. the, the attraction, I mean, obviously became physical, but initially was all about the interaction, the personality, the personality. All right, the How did you get this one-on-one -on -one time with her? Why are you spending so how much soon, time with her? How soon did you notice that she was a very beautiful woman and you were starting to realize that your, your high school student was so attractive that you were having feelings for her? Um, it progressed. Um, we started school in early August and uh, just joked with each other and, and had common... You know, was she is. doing extracurricular? No, no, stuff? it's not. No, she is. It's she not was, anything. She was very tasteful. Weird. It wasn't the the, <laughs> the stereotypical. Um, right, how soon do you get in her pants, and how do you start asking her out? I mean, she's one of the students. You have to know that's wrong. Yeah, so. like how do you, you know, wind I, up together? Yeah. Um, it started. W well, we ran into each other at Starbucks, and it was it was a setting where we didn't have. It wasn't at school, and so we were able to talk a little bit more. Not how many months into senior year was this? Like. Two? Two months. Two or three. Two and, or three. You run into each other at a Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. And we, we sat down, and we just had so much in common because we had that one-on-one. -on -one we didn't have, you know, a bunch you of people You sat around. down uh, ostensibly to talk about uh, the just, class? Just to shoot the shit and just, talk about yeah. things, right. that, you know, outside. And then um, at one point, um, y you could tell that there was some chemistry, and I made an off a comment to her. We had a, a random Wednesday off in the middle of the week, and I said that I was going to be going to a movie. I would always go to movies by myself because other family members didn't care to see the same movies I wanted to go to. So I said, I'm going to be at this movie, and it wasn't a straightforward invite, but I basically said, this is where I'm going to be. And we both kind of understood that if she eventually showed up, that we were going to progress. What was it, Harry Potter? No, you laughed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was, was the, um, the Smurf movie. It was. Um, <laughs> this is it. This Michael is it with Michael Jackson. Yeah. We were there for 20 minutes. Right. We said, let's But get we the wanted hell. to talk. So we you showed up at the movie yeah. to yeah, meet him there. And mm -hmm. by me showing up, we both kind of knew. So you were hot for him at that point. Yeah. W w we were obviously physically attracted to each other, but we both knew. Was it hard to teach in the kinda... class with a boner? <laughs> Did, did you find yourself getting aroused <laughs> while looking at her in you the know class? What? Um, it, we were able to kind of set that aside. It, it, the, after we progressed to a physical level, at, at first it was just, you know, kissing and... and Wait a second, was, Angie. Did you wear... Did, when, once you started uh, realizing he was interested in you, did you wear special outfits to the classroom? No, just when we saw each other after. I, Would you ever wear a short mini skirt with no panties and spread um, your legs a little bit to turn <laughs> them on? It, it, it no, was never the mini cool. skirt thing. Her big thing was like after we'd meet... Um, sometimes we'd meet after... Um, after school or like at, at parks, we'd prearranged destinations. Park. Right. Yeah. Oh my God. Hey, you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> right. Um, her thing was um, like basketball shorts. Basketball he, shorts. Easy, 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 easy access. access. Yeah. Oh right. My. Yeah. So, so you wore oh, the basketball shorts child. so he could uh, he could work his fingers in there. Oh. oh man. Did you have a, a discussions that no one could know? In other words, you have to have that discussion well, with your students. That night that we got, went to the movies and went to the coffee shop, um, I remember leaning across and telling her that. There's no way I was, it was going to be really difficult to wait 90 days to kiss her. Because that's when I would have been 18. I and see. that's when I was like, okay, I think he likes me a little more than. Right. So. So what happened? You kissed her. Uh, yeah, good. You didn't wait till her 18th <laughs> birthday. Uh, just, that night. There's no way you had to kiss her. You know, looking back, obviously you say shoulda, woulda, coulda. Right. Um, and I would have liked to have done things different. But the way it progressed is, again, treat her with a lot of respect and decency. But that night I walked her back to her car and kind of got in a, an elevator and got up in her space and 
It sounds like you guys didn't realize how serious a thing this no, was. That the school was going to fucking freak out if no. they caught you. It's the end of your career. Absolutely. We were living on a different plane. We're like, oh, this is going to be great. You know, nobody will know. We can get away with it. We're smarter yeah. than everyone. Did you tell any of your friends, Angie? Well, that's where it kind of went south because I, you know, I was excited. I was, and I, I told a couple of people and then. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did you tell her not to tell anyone? Uh, it was a given. I don't say, really need to explain you know, this. When you tell someone a secret, you know, you always feel better about, now don't tell anyone this. But we right. had talked about, and, and even looking back at that, that night in the, uh, the coffee shop, everything that eventually happened, I was deathly afraid of then. What was your st uh, Facebook status? I fucked my teacher? No. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a second. You go out uh, to the movie. And then you kiss after the movie. Mm -hmm. And we had talked right after the kiss. We're like, okay, this is going to change things. Everything. And yes. we were, but we were both okay. Weren't you nervous? About, what did you get in his class? Did you get an A? Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That ain't right. No, she, I had, I had was she, did she deserve the A? Um, she was she, probably a B minus, right? And you gave her an A. Yeah. She was a solid... B student. Well, the and thing was, I, I, I didn't discovered have some extra credit points somewhere along the line that kind of bumped her up. <laughs> oh to my like, god! Yeah. Well, I didn't have time to do my homework because I was with him. That was my right. reasoning. Well, you were probably <laughs> getting a lot of extra help. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys, uh, so, so, yeah, it would be weird to give her a B. Yeah, might as well give her the test. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so she can study Did it. Did you ever look for the test when you were over his place? To I was oh, focused on him. Yeah. I didn't. Right. Yeah. So, uh, so that's, now it's a big secret, and then you kiss that night. Then when do you start to bang? Because she's a virgin. So when do you start to bang? Um, there were, uh, we had made arrangements and, and we would meet here, we'd meet there. I'd say I was going to do my jujitsu train and I'd be going to a park to meet Angie. She'd say she was going over to a friend's house, she'd be at a park with me. But it was a lot of um, uh, making out, heavy petting. We never progressed to the um, you know, actual intercourse point till probably after, sometime after Christmas break. I see. And. Um, and it, 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 was it great when your teacher took off your top and started playing with your boobs? Was it, like, so cool? <laughs> yeah, you liked it. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was fun. It, I liked him. It was, you have to understand, it's a lot Hey, my teacher's playing with my <laughs> boobs, Robin. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know this was what they did in government, uh, but they yeah. did. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm glad I didn't marry my hot teacher. She'd be 97 today. <laughs> Uh, do you worry about that, Angie? He's going to be an old man. Uh, I mean, after all, and you've never banged any other guys. Now, you probably had some boyfriends in high school, right? I mean, you probably yeah. had some guys who were into you, but yeah. you, you were saving yourself uh, for later on. Yeah, well, um, mm. I'd had um, oral sex before, but right. I had never, I always stopped at that point. And so, Good you know, you. I've, I've had other kinds of experiences, but he's he's ha he's amazing in bed. So he is? He's, he's yeah. got a big schlong? He's... <laughs> Yeah. He does. Your teacher has a big schlong. He's, yeah. Well, he's your teacher. So. He should have a big schlong, right? <laughs> he's a teacher. He's in a teaching situation. When did she when blab to her friend? Yeah, when did you... So you were banging your teacher for a while. When he pulled down his pants the first time, and you, this was an adult schlong. I mean, well, it wasn't like it, some schoolboy. It, it, it wasn't some some presentation where we had, like, a lot of free room to operate. I mean... Right. The, Wait, the, was it in the back seat of a car? Oh, gee. You banged her in the back seat of a car? Well, you couldn't take her to your apartment because maybe someone... No, I, I was... Uh, I was in the process of, I was married at the time. Right. And we had kind of got to the point, I mean, fantastic woman, great stepmother to my, to my children, but we had kind of grown apart, and we had reached a point where... It was How many four, times you been married, dude? This is three, man. This is your third. Dude, after this, I'm going gay. I got no other options. This is... <laughs> it's got to work. It, it has to work. Right. It has to work. Mm -hmm. So you had a wife, you I had, had a wife. kids, then you married some other broad, then she was the stepmother to your kids. She was fantastic. Then She's you started fantastic. cheating on this broad with your new girlfriend who's your high school student. When you say it like that, it sounds really, really bad. But that's what happened. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> it. <laughs> but I mean, we had, we had agree, agreed that um, we were going to start going to marriage counseling basically so that we could earn the right to, to walk away from the marriage. There, it was a, we, but you're already dating her. Well, it hadn't progressed to the point that it had. She and, had a beggar in a car like a real high school student. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you kind of yeah. regressed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. And you say, he couldn't take her home. Angie, you say banging in the car was good. The first time was good. First yeah, time it was we, amazing. It didn't it was, hurt? Um, the first time, we, we didn't get very far. But then take because two. Because you were a virgin. Right. You were too tight. Take, yeah, take two was What, so you only better. got like halfway in? Well, yeah, and then... You know, we, we, he's always really on edge. Like any kind of sound, it's like, "Whoa, stop!" 
<laughs> like, so, you, like you see headlights on me. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, nervous. Yeah, like, yeah, look, you got a lot to lose. Yeah. Everything's right. on I know, the line. I know. Now, you, do you have a daughter? I have uh, two daughters that... Um, what if they bang their high school stu- you know, teacher? Are you going to be pissed? I tell you what, I, there was a point when, when this whole shitstorm went down. I had, There was a really chaotic week that culminated in me driving to... Um, I had to stop in with my attorney to go over some things, and I had to drive uh, a series of miles to meet my daughter and tell her, there's some heavy shit coming down that you you may want... How old is the daughter when you're telling her uh, sh- this? Uh, Angie is right between my oldest and my youngest daughter. Oh, God, yeah. you've got a daughter older than your wife. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know. But I had to, uh, you know, back to your question about what oh, I'd be wow. pissed. Oh, wow. Are they still talking to any of those kids? I'll get back to that. Oh. She, <laughs> are they talking to when you, I yes had, or no? Uh, as of yesterday, I received... Uh, it's pretty clear that they're not. They're, they're, not, not, they're, not, in, they're not interested in a relationship with me. They've moved on in their lives thinking that um, they'd endured enough. And granted, I put a lot of heartache and, and uh, misery at, at their front porch. But when I went to visit my daughter at school and told her what was going to happen, from a father's standpoint, I would totally understand... Uh, I would be furious if she told me that she was dating a man uh, with the age difference between Angie and I. But at the same time, at the same time, if sh- this man was treating her with the decency and respect that I had already always treated Angie with, as a father, part of me would be somewhat relieved. I mean, still pissed. I get it. Right. I get it from a father. And what about Angie's parents? Are they talking to you? Uh, her mother is fantastic woman. Um, right. She is so supportive of Angie being happy and recognizes that if Angie being with me makes her happy, then she supports that. She's been very decent, very kind towards What about me. your dad, Angie? Is he pissed? Oh. Um, he's really upset, and I get it. I'm not like, I don't get it, guys. Why are you so mad? I understand. Right. I mean, nobody wants to... Nobody... How old's your mom? Um, 53. Oh, so pretty close in age, right? Yeah. yeah. And your yeah. dad's, like, on the rampage, right? He must be fucking crazy yeah. from this. Yeah, but we're, we're making progress. We're slowly right. kind of getting, it's, it's It's been a tough better. road. You have to... You know, we lied and deceived. Obviously, we were being selfish and naive, thinking that we can get away with it, and everyone would eventually, if everything followed the timeline that we thought were it was going to Were you pissed when you, f- when you found that Angie told all her friends? You know, and Howard, uh, I... Not all of them. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, you only have to tell one, no, then no, everybody else knows. When this happened, um, that's the one thing people always expect me to be pissed about, is that, you know, aren't you mad at her that she told someone? It, we were going to get caught. Right. We, her, her dad had intercepted a series of... Um, Emails? No. It's not the text. E- it's the text. And yeah. you know what? I tell you, for all those guys out there that think that they're really sly and they get away with you can't get away with shit because they know <laughs> where the signal's coming from, when this is being sent, when that's right. being sent, and they, ha- they boom. You were texting. Texting will do you in. It's the Every phone. Time. That phone catches that phone everyone me. now. Said, and you can see the progression because I had a limited amount of, of minutes, and then I gradually would change my phone plan to this, and then I'd get more text messages. Right. And... and in hindsight, it's just... I take it your ex-wife was really pissed. Um, she deserved so much better than what she got. Right. Um, absolutely, she was pissed because when this all went down, um, they called me in my classroom um, on, March <laughs> ten- on March 10th. On March 10th. Some that someone randomly had tipped off the teachers' union, and I received a call from someone saying, this is so-and-so, you're being investigated for an improper relationship mm-hmm. with a student. Don't, do not talk to the police. Um, you need to go talk to union representative right now. And I just broke into a flop sweat. I was right. like, fuck, they, they know. I'm, and I knew that they knew, and I was, I was dead. Right. And you start creating this alt- alternative reality in your head that, actually, we didn't do that. We didn't do that. We did. Yeah, we you did. did it. You fessed up. Um, not immediately, because right. when, you, when you plead guilty, you have nothing, no leeway. Were you in actual legal trouble, though, because she was 17, or um, is it legal to have sex with a 17-year-old? Uh, in Texas, it is. Um, it is, it in, is legal. in Texas, almost everything is. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Anything goes. Um, I broke Except crossing the border. <laughs> I broke some, right. some ethical and professional lines. There were some um, legal lines that I crossed, too. It was because yeah. he was a teacher, and the parents right. put their trust in The prosecuting in him. attorney even said that yeah. had I not been a teacher, they wouldn't have prosecuted the case. But that being said, you know, I still broke the law. And oh, it, so and this was prosecuted. Oh, yeah. And because Did I you broke, go to jail? Um, what happened is um, um, I didn't talk to the police immediately. Um, I was advised not to, and because the police couldn't talk to me, they talked to everyone in my social circle to create that pressure from the outside in, right. including going to my wife's work and telling her what I was being accused of. Right. And she called me saying, what the fuck is going on? Right. And I s- initially, it's like, 
I'm, I've been told not to talk to anyone. <laughs> not even you, honey. Not even you. Right. And, uh, Can't trust anyone. So in this case, seven, yeah. seven days later, I was charged with uh, inappropriate sexual contact with a minor, um, annoying and molestation of a minor, which is the texting, right. and um, dissuading a witness, which is putting pressure on a witness to testify other, other than to the truth. Are you considered a sex offender? Um, a series of um, six months hearings, blah, 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 uh, I plea bargained um, to the felony and misdemeanor charge, uh, was sentenced to five years informal probation, which means I can leave the country, I don't have a probation officer. You don't right. have a thing on your leg or anything? No, I don't have an anchor bracelet. Too bad. Um, right. I don't, um, <laughs> We're thinking to put one on you. Yeah. Aren't you worried he's going to cheat on you, Angie, eventually? He is a cheater. He's he a, cheated. He, this is his third marriage. That's right. No, no but seriously, no, are no. you worried? Brothers. Angie, are you worried? Like the pattern effect, but... It's it's hard to explain because from the outside in it looks like an older guy trying to get a young you know piece of ass, but there's so much more to him than, I mean, but I he hate, did I it. Hate, I hate to say it, but he's he's a weeper. He's he's very sensitive. He's very. There's no way. He's you know, super his, dedicated. His, he his second you. wife used to talk about him just mm -hmm. the same way. He gets no, sick she, of you when you're 25. Uh, <laughs> I, as a result of everything that's going on. Is a young woman's vagina different than an older woman's vagina? Of course. It absolutely of is. Of course. Is that why it was difficult to get inside of her when uh, you were first uh, having sex You've with her? You've never had a virgin, have you? A uh, virgin? Who would give me their virginity? <laughs> no, I haven't. Absolutely uh, not. What was more difficult than the, the physical standpoint was the emotional standpoint, knowing that I was taking from her something that in a traditional situation would be... How much wiener did you actually get in her the first time? Was it, were you able to get a, the head in? Yeah. Like yeah. halfway. Just yeah. halfway in? Yeah. I think, yeah. And yeah. you blew a load probably quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, pretty exciting stuff. You only got half a wiener in and you blew a load. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's your student, of course. But then, then, be terrible. then it's so wrong. This is so wrong. But then there was how long before you could get your whole wiener in there? Oh, next time. Next time. Next time. And, and, Way to go. Yeah. And then the next time, um, I remember us being, you know, finishing in the car and, and saying, "Well, you taught her a good lesson." This is all in the car. You'll have to stick with things. You got to work at things if it's going to uh -huh. if it's going to eventually remember, work. I remember saying that was real sex, Jack. And then we we put ourselves together and then went to school. Oh. You got dressed and went to class. Yeah, by then we'd switched. Is that weird to like teach oh. the class with her in it after you just had no, no, sex? No, we, we hadn't had sex oh. when she was in my class. Right. But because of the schedule, they had gone to a new, uh, she had gotten Get four new, new classes. classes. So. so after, I remember I was standing outside my door because I used to greet all my students coming in. Yeah. And then I'd see her casually walk across um, campus yeah. to another class. And we kind of made that eye contact like, shit, if anyone on this campus knew. Right. But the two of us knew. <laughs> Don't you think that uh, that's what made it so exciting? That, of course. I mean, that the sex was even better because it was so taboo? Um, the sex has actually been better since then because the freedom to uh, operate and, and to be seen in public as a couple. Would you, would you see the other high school guys talking to her, and would you get angry? Would you get jealous? Yeah. He did. I just, like, everyone hugs in high school. Right. And I remember he, from across the campus, he saw me hug someone, and he stared me down. I was like... Holy hey, cow. I, he's, he's, you know. <laughs> My teacher is very, hey, isn't it kind of weird? The teacher is kind of upset with me right, hugging you. Right. My teacher is obsessed. Wow. There, there was one, one kid in my class that was uh, um, considering asking her to prom. Right. And I was going to ask about prom. Did well, she we get actually, to go? We, uh, did we, you go to prom? No. You did not? Shit hit the fan before. Oh, it did. Yeah. I, oh, I bet you all the kids at school were talking about you. Oh, Holy my cow. God. You just uh, ruined senior yeah. year. <laughs> so, dude, now that you can't teach, how are you making a living? Waiting tables, man. It's Waiting tables. And, you know, my, my, my main reason for coming on the show is that, I mean, I've been a, I've been a fan of yours for... Of course. Don't say you're for a fan years. of ours. <laughs> for years. <laughs> for we years. got enough trouble. And We're not a fan of yours, but go ahead. <laughs> for years. And, yeah. and because, and again, Any cute yet waitresses working there? Young <laughs> ones? High school? Uh, you don't, you know, you're keeping in your pants. Uh, having recognized Where's that, he working? Uh, Hooters? Having no. recognized that I made mistakes. Um, right. I'm basically looking for that. All it takes is that one person to say, you know, I'm college educated. I'm articulate. Uh, I'm um, a thoughtful person. Well, you don't want to work around children anymore. Um, <laughs> Why not, not? First of all, I'm not allowed to as part of my probation. Is that right? I, I had to turn in my teaching credential. Wow. Um, I can teach at the college level. Oh, good. Oh, but, lucky them. But I'm not, I'm not interested in that. I'm, I'm basically looking for a new challenge. And, and if the, What kind of any, challenge you want? You know what? I'm kind of wide open to it. I, I, I recognize that having been in this situation of starting a life 20 years ago, I'm, you know, 20 years ago I was waiting tables and working the door. And now wow. 20 years later, 
waiting tables working the door. And what, you said you're jujitsu. Why don't you have to open a school, a jujitsu school? Oh, the, again, that's kids. Oh, that's right. Well, no, yeah. that doesn't apply to. <laughs> yeah, how many adults want to start learning jujitsu? <laughs> um, yeah. I tell you, the, the, the guys uh, at my academy have been so supportive, and it was a real outlet for me because when all this went down, um, I was on administrative leave, and I had nothing. I mean, I kind of moved in with my with my parents to get out of this. The so you guys living with your parents now? No, no, I right. was living with oh my, my parents. Oh my god! No, 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 no. <laughs> to get out of the local spotlight yeah. and train jujitsu all the time, and they've been very supportive. And um, Angie, you're going to go to college. Because the college professors are really cute. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's um, a great place to meet a guy. I don't, I, yeah. we'll see. Does not he right keep now. you on a tight leash? I mean, he must be worried about you charging around looking all hot like that. Uh, yeah, like well, Jersey Shore will come on and he'll see me watching and he'll get kind of like. He gets upset. Just, just that worried feeling. And I get it. But right. at the end of the day, you know, I would love to have that experience and all that, you know. Live, drink well, you can't live on campus. You're a married woman. I think you have to go right. home and cook dinner right. or something. So, don't you? <laughs> but I mean, at the end of the day, I I'm gonna want somebody who's gonna love me and be in my bed every single night. Same okay. person, you know. The thing, so is, I get the that. thing that's interesting is I'm trying to think what kind of job you get. would you be a Ronald McDonald like a mascot or would you be like a department store Santa? Is that like not anything no. you're like again? A, you're talking uh, about children. Kids, right, right, no, right. I'm yeah. not allowed you know, to I didn't realize teach kids. Every job involves kids. <laughs> I'm, al- I'm not allowed to yeah. teach kids. I'm yeah. not a registered oh, sex offender. Oh, you could offender. be I'm not, a Santa. Chuck E. Cheese is okay. I'm not <laughs> driving not. around in a van asking little girls. Was it all worth it? Think about it. Your career is over now. Of course, he's gonna say it's worth it because he's got this love. Is it worth it? Angie, is it You're worth so it? Cynical. You're like, so cynical. Is it worth it? Talk to me in five Are years. you asking me? Or yeah, right? I'm asking you both. Was it really worth it? Uh, to me, absolutely. Uh, if I had, if I could go back, obviously there are things I would have done much differently. What would you have done differently? Um, well, obviously our biggest regret is that we got caught. Right. So to be a little bit more subtle and... Oh, um, my God. So you'd get caught well, again. No. We, oh, my gosh, no. <laughs> he meant to say if we could do it again, we would have waited. We would have waited till I graduated. Mm-hmm. But, you know, first and foremost. If you had waited till you graduated, there probably would have been no charges. That's yeah. true. Well, because right. I'm telling 18, you, I know a lot of these right, teachers right. who do this stuff. Well, we, I, in talking to a lot of people, apparently it, it goes on more than you would think. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, I tried to separate myself from it and, 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 and say that because I was – thoughtful and because I was sensitive to her and because I was her friend that made me better but in the eyes of the law it's cut and dry and, right. you know do you ever wish you could go back in time and not do it in a car maybe a van or something well, like that you had more room <laughs> to spread out to a van. There, at one point yeah, well, yeah you can lay down in there we, I'm telling when we got on a bed it was like we we didn't we, it was heaven <laughs> she, wow she, she, she was room. shipped out to another to another town I, right. I moved in with my parents to get away um, you were shipped out to another town your parents moved you to another town Angie yeah yeah just to get away, because I was that girl. Right. I mean, I, I couldn't go anywhere. Like, it was... Is this a small town you guys were in? Mm-hmm. Kind of small. And I just, I felt so horrible. My whole family had to go through so much. And I'm, and I really do Were there reporters t- uh, staking out? Not your, my house. Yeah. His house. But, yeah. um... Any of your friends stick by you, or did they all kind of, like, yeah, move away? Yeah, and I got that look from parents, like, mm, like Don't want my girl with her. Yeah, that type of thing. And yeah. so, and I get it. I'm not, like, oblivious, like... Why aren't you guys my friends anymore? Like, why? Why are you guys disappointed? I understand, and I feel really bad for everything that happened. But we're trying to. Are you, you able know, to move work? On and. Do you yeah. able to get a job? Yeah. Yeah, you're okay, right? No yeah. problem. What oh, are you she's doing? Great. Yeah. yeah, she's great. Um, I in the restaurant business. I work two jobs. In the so you're a waitress too? Mm-hmm. Kind of. Yeah. What like, do you like? Uh, register and hostess. Oh man. Yeah. Tough life, you it's guys. Gonna, it's going to get better, though. We're confident but like, it's going to yeah, get we're, better. But, yeah, we're willing to stick it out. And All right. Let me see if anybody wants to give you guys a job. Uh, this is Jeff and oh, Angie. Oh, is that what he's looking for? He's looking for a job. <laughs> uh, let's go to uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, you got a job for uh, Jeff or you don't care? Go ahead, Jimmy. Child molesting fuck oh. should be in fucking jail. And that home-wrecking slut has no <laughs> fucking time. Oh, my goodness. So, I tell you what, yeah. when, when, when charges were finally brought, they... Uh, she was my fucking daughter. You'd have disappeared, fucker. I'm terrified. I'm fucking yeah, terrified. Oh, terrified. I'm terrifying. I'm terrified. I'm a fucking baseball bat in the middle of the night. With all right, all right, yeah. Bring your bat. I got my fist at any time. But well, a lot of people are angry about no, this. And, and I understand. understand if it was my daughter, For I would sure. be out of my fucking mind over it. Mm-hmm. I get it. And I tell you what, I've said it several times to Angie, is that... Third marriage, home-wrecking <laughs> slut. There she goes. She don't care about anybody else. 
from a from like a, honey badger, from, she don't care. From a dad's perspective or from her brother's perspective, yeah. I understand that you know I've I've reached out to them and said, listen, I recognize that what I did was wrong. Right. Um, I'd like to make amends. I don't expect to ingratiate myself and your family anytime soon. She but sort I, of Angie is a, ch a, ch a home wrecker, though. No, I mean, it's she's a, it's not her. Kid. But she's an innocent she, kid. She's no. not married. She's not supposed to. You know, have to worry about these adult things. Mm -hmm. Do you ever say to yourself, I should have protected her. I should have been a better man about this. Yes, she's attractive. I should have yeah, waited. I should have I mean, any number of things. Do you ever say of that course. to yourself? Of she course. just didn't put a bullet in his wife's head. What? She's no different than the, the Amy fucking the bitch who put a bullet in her in the wife's head. This guy uh, can't even talk. It's, 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 that, that's the thing. Is I, I understand the anger that a lot of people right, have, and right. from her father and her brother's, uh, you know, standpoint, if they were to ever to to meet me. I would totally expect and accept them oh, wanting to throw in the God. punch. But I tell you what. Jimmy, you, you sound know, angry, but uh, do you have a job for uh, Jack? Ah! What? Uh, I have a job for him. What's that, a hand job? <laughs> Clean, cleaning the bottom of my fucking shoe with its face. <laughs> 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 All right, Jimmy. Thanks, man. All right, here's a, a gentleman named Ham Hands Bell. Go ahead, Ham. Oh Hands. God. <laughs> hey guys, listen. It is known that pink uh, bubble gum is very similar to redhead fiber parts. How long did it take you to lick a, a bubble gum asshole and vagina? Oh God. <laughs> well, that's. Uh, did Jeff introduce you to uh, new kinds of uh, like like the world of sex? It must have been mind blowing. In other words, when he would uh, lick you. Would he lick your asshole and vagina is what uh, Ham Hands is trying to say. I'm trying to put it in a nice way. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to be classy. We started um, slow. I mean, it wasn't started like slow. I was never like, whoa, Because he must know some <laughs> shit, right? Because he's an older dude. I mean, he knows what he's doing, right? Um, I, from an older man's perspective, yeah. and you can relate to this as well, right. you have your actual sexual life and then you have your fantasy sexual life, which right. is much of what you're not doing in your actual life. Yeah, so but Jeff, can't you, but can't you convince her because you're the older guy said, listen, honey, it's very normal it's for not, me to lick your asshole because... No, that's what older people it's, do. It's, I haven't had to convince her or prod her or goad her into doing anything she doesn't want to. I can tell you that right. between the two of us, sexually, we've gone places that neither one of us has gone. And it's really? Been, yeah. Anal, in other words. For sure. Wow. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Wow. For sure. Well, let me tell you, he's teaching her things that he couldn't well, in class. Well, he's still teaching. It's that's what's right. good. That's he right. is still teaching. In a sense, you still are the teacher, right? In a way, you think of him sometimes as your teacher, right? No. Because he is teaching you anal. <laughs> See, people cannot get, you guys can't get past the whole teacher concept. It's now that right. I'm no longer a teacher. I mean, it was always separate. There was a subject matter that I taught. Did you ever try to bring other students into the bedroom? Where, no. Like, uh, Another, no, no. Do you have any friends kind of thing? Andy? We're going to have a study group. <laughs> no. Yeah. Let's see if we can get all the kids into the classroom to come to my house. Do, uh, do you swallow, Angie? Oh, my God. Angie, what about that? Do you feel funny swallowing uh, your teacher? No. Not at all. You I'll enjoy look. it. Yeah. She enjoys it. Ham hands. Good. That's nice. <laughs> oh, you, are, you, are, you are pretty hot, Angie. Thank Long hair. You. Head. you like it. Yeah, uh, ham, hand ham hands. But if you were a Jeff teacher, Jeff is his hero. You would ham hands. You would not. If you were a teacher, you would not cross that line, right? Please. Well, I would. I, I would wait until she's eighteen, and then dress her up in a mini skirt, uh, 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 and bend flower, her over. Flower panties, cotton panties. Uh, it's not a panties doing a sixty-nine, and and, and and lick a private pants for about a year before I have sex with her. Right, but you would uh, wait till she was eighteen. <laughs> See, even Ham yeah, well, Hands would have waited. Then he, she's 18. He's just going to lick her for a year. She'll be 19 right. before yeah. he actually he's has sex. He's not in a rush. <laughs> All right, Ham Hands. Well, thank you for that uh, advice. Thank you, Angie. You look pretty hot. I'll, I'll look you up on Facebook. All right. Very good. Uh, you might get him. Uh, Larry, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, how you doing, Howard? Hey, hey man. Yeah, uh, I have a pretty similar story to this. and uh, You're looking for a job, too? <laughs> we can yeah, only find no. one guy one job. Now with you fucking freaks. I got to say, I mean, I, you don't think that's wrong? What of course. What doing? Yes. Who, what? What are we doing? What did I do? No, 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 no. Not you guys. No, you should not uh, fuck your students. Uh, listen, I won't, even, I, I won't even condone my guys having sex with the interns around here. No, 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 I know They're that. college no, girls. Man, I've been listening to you for 30 years. Dude, today I find out if I have cancer or not. And I, I'm, I'm just so <sighs> happy to speak What's this to got you? to do with nothing. What's your I'm question? Nothing. Okay, nothing. Okay. Yeah. All, right, all, right. all right, I got to go. I was in, I, when I was in high school, uh, I was dating this girl, 
and... Oh, you were born. You lost the girl to the teacher. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you were the cool we, teacher. <laughs> and a guy... Uh, you fucked one of the guys in your class. He was 75 years old, Howard. <laughs> what? He, and, yeah, he was 75 years fucking old. Your teacher. Yeah, he was a chemistry teacher. I'm not, you and he fucked names? you. Or no, no. No, name. no, we don't want names. Okay. Larry, I got to go. You, you see, there was a 75-year-old teacher. What, he was fucking one of the students? Yeah, he was fucking a, he was fucking a 16-year-old. <laughs> you know, you know, this, you know, this goes on so much, you wouldn't believe it. I do believe it. Winning. And, and <laughs> just one more thing. One After more 70, thing. it's fine, isn't people, it, Ron? Everything's people okay. People don't think 70. that... Or, or, like, these two couples, they think nobody knows about it. And if- All right, this guy's boring the shit out of me. Nick, Thank go you. ahead in Lake Tahoe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Howard. You know yeah. what? Maybe you did the wrong thing, fucking a 17-year-old, but even you don't deserve but, that torture. But, yeah, I, I, that we're trying to, I, I understand people saying it was wrong. I, I get it. I broke I the law. I get it. Okay. Nick, go ahead. Make a bad Let's get a good right. phone caller here. Nick, go ahead. Thanks, Howard. Yeah. Hey, Angie, did you ever wear no panties and sit in the front row of his class? Or, and yeah, that's did- the key question. Did you ever... It wasn't that easy. I was in the third row. Oh, you were in the third row. <laughs> so you always wore panties or no panties sometimes? Sometimes. Um, sometimes I, you know, no, no panties, but sometimes, wow. like, in restaurants, we'll go out, I'll go to the bathroom and come back and, like, hand in my panties. And, and what was this whole thing? You knew when you started dating your teacher, oh, you'll go to the bathroom and hand him your panties. That's hot. Did I you know. ever uh, blow them in the janitor's closet? Ah. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing, nothing happened. On school school nothing happened never, in school. Never, never took place. And on dates, <laughs> and on dates, you would wear gym shorts with no not panties. Not every time. I would, I would dress up. Not every time, but sometimes when we knew it was. When we knew it was going down. After, yeah, was yeah. Just... You'd wear gym shorts with no panties, so he'd have access to your vagina. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, that's so considerate. That's very Romantic thoughtful. is what I call it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that was your outfit for a lot of times because you knew he might have to slip it in real quick with your shorts on. Is that correct? Yeah. 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 So sometimes he'd have to just push the shorts to the side and enter you. But wait a minute. Sometimes this was awesome. happening in between I mean, class. Terrible. So how no, far off campus was nev- could you no, get? No, none of this took place <laughs> on campus during school hours. It was always, you know, right. <laughs> after school. Robin, it, how dare you suggest <laughs> they would have sex at the school? Like Robin. that makes it better. That's disgusting. Always <laughs> outside of the classroom. <laughs> you make it sound we so dirty. We respected the school. Robin, the classroom was sacred. How dare you? Uh, what is it, Fafa Fui? Listen, I want to start by saying that this is is not something that I'm interested in, but the guys that I should point this oh. out. In Jeff's original email to me, he yes. said that he could get Angie into her bra and panties here oh, if he no. wanted to. Really? I don't oh. even know if I want to see that. <laughs> Trust me, oh, you would. I would. And, but knowing, you know, the show, I, I, I may have said that without her... She's been through enough. Knowledge. Knowledge. Uh, yo, yeah. So you, you, you offered her in her bra and panties, but you didn't know that... I didn't run so that excited. by her. I, you know, I just yeah, said, right. oh, this would be the hook that might get him to call me. Right, right, right. Hey, how about getting her on the Sibian, Howard? You want oh, to get on the Sibian? That's not going to happen. No. She knows about the Sibian. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. I'm gonna. I, I don't know There's what to say. There's been enough that uh, wrong stuff that has gone on. Everybody in this wins. Couple. That's right. Let's go to uh, Damon finally for the last word. Uh, Damon, go ahead in Wayne, New Jersey. Good morning, Howard. Uh, fuck that other caller who has a problem with this. This is hot. Good for you, Jeff. Like, thank you, man. Oh, my God, so hot. <laughs> Where Damon, do you teach? You. <laughs> <laughs> Damon, uh, do you have a job for Jeff? That's what he's here looking for. Uh, I could try. I'm, I'm not in any managerial position. He doesn't have any job. position. Not in a position to be Unfortunately, the one guy who likes you uh, <laughs> won't give you a job. He doesn't have one. If he had right. one, he would. Uh, all right, real quick, uh, Marianne from Brooklyn, go ahead. What's your take on this? Howard, I hated every teacher, and they hated me, and I'm so glad. Get these assholes out of there. It's so, it's so boring. It's so stupid. You ruined your family. You're assholes. You're going on the show to get a job. Get her on the Sibian. You're a bunch of losers. Get King of All Black cousin on. Get rid of these Right, people. Robin is looking for love. You're absolutely right, Marion. Paul, go ahead. You're on the, uh, on the air. Yeah, he is kind of perverted because she was, you know, before 18 and, he, you know, she was a student. But after hearing Ham Hands on there, I think those three should have their own little show. That's right. I think the Ham Hands show with Jeff and Angie might actually work. All right, listen, you two. Um, so, Jeff, you're looking for a gig. You do it. You're, you're working How do hard. How get in touch with you we if just, they do have something? That's right. If somebody has something for you, go ahead. Uh, you can give your uh, plea right now. Yeah, just to let people know that, I mean, again, recognizing that I've... That we're good people. We're We're not... Like, we made a serious mistake, but we're good people. And you are in love, and uh, love took over. Yeah, it's Mm -hmm. not like it was like a hit it and quit it, and like, 
we got in trouble for. It's serious. We're really in love, and we're, <laughs> we're just looking for that opportunity. Yeah. I mean, right. we're, you know. All right. So, uh, uh, listen. I tell people I'm good too. No one believes it. But, <laughs> I was uh, gonna say, wasn't that Casey yeah. Anthony's defense? Uh, yeah, oh. she's a good person. <laughs> yeah, I find it harder to believe that Marianne from Brooklyn was not liked in high school. Uh, well, anyway, guys. Uh, well, listen. If uh, you know me, I'm not for these kind of shenanigans. I say if you're a teacher, you would take a sacred oath to keep your hands off the students. You were a married teacher. Mm -hmm. That's right. But mm -hmm. I, uh, I don't know what to say. If somebody out there is sympathetic to this, if somebody feels that you deserve a second chance, they should get in touch with Who, us, I guess. What, and, what please. employer? Right. What kind of employment? You know, uh, I don't understand. I don't know. Too bad Crazy know. Eddie isn't still around. <laughs> <laughs> I see management-type job there. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. Listen, who knows what will happen? Uh, you do seem like very nice people, but you have this uh, albatross sure. uh, five, around your neck. Five years from now, uh -huh. um, you know, people won't be so critical, so judgmental, and it'll be. How long did your other marriages last? Um, the first one was four, but uh -huh. I was out. Right. You know, I moved out after two, and uh -huh. then um, my second marriage was 11 years. You might need some marriage counseling or something. You know what I mean? You might if need. I some... could afford it. That'd be great. Right. Right now, there's, you're low on funds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, you two, thanks for coming and telling us your story. This is Jeff and Angie, student and teacher falling in love. That's what we're talking about, Robin. Yes. Robin, none of your teachers ever manhandled you, fingered you, or no, anything. No, my teachers were very respectful. Right. Well, there you go. All right, Angie, good luck to you, Jeff. I mean, <laughs> and um, your, your dad wasn't, but your teachers were. <laughs> my dad had to be put in his place, but right. my teachers were good. That's why All I right. love school. Well, you're in a tough situation. I know. I know. So you got to... Well, maybe some will contact us. Thank you. We get guys all the time who... Uh, you know, might have something going on. But yeah. you guys live in Texas, huh? No, California. Oh, you live in California? Yeah, we live in Where, near L.A.? or uh, Central Valley, outside of San Francisco. Okay. Uh, All right. So it's rough going right now. It's rough, but it's good. You know, it's, right. you know my, my ex-wife, I remember her saying that I would never get off this gravy train. She made a lot of money. And apparently, right. you know, there's more to, to life than being you know, just content. I want to be happy. Now, you can't teach jujitsu or something like that. Sounds like you're... One, one of these days, I will. Yeah, right. One of these days, I will. When you're, when you're uh, ready. Yeah. yeah. All right, listen. Well, best of luck with everything. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. If we hear from anyone, I'm sure Gary will pass the yeah. information right along. Well. well, good luck, you two. You're mean. You're sure. I like you, but you're mean. You're mean. Well, you make it, you make it seem like this is just the one yeah. time we got caught. Never no, did. no, no, no. I didn't say anything. Hey, I simply Robin, said whatever Robin, I said. She I don't asked know the hard questions. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> See, Gary, photography's not so easy. No. You sit around laughing that's at Jason right. all the time. Can that's I take right. a quick picture of you too? Right? Yeah. Angie, Jeff, come talk to me for a second. Okay. Guys, you, Lisa? you came on the show today. <laughs> You know, hoping for some help, hoping for some assistance to get, you know, get your career back and restarted <laughs> and going. Given the response from some of the callers, do you think this appearance will help or hurt you? Uh, you know, when we came on, the came on, we, we thought the, at the absolute best, there might be some feelers out there. Maybe give us a chance. At the absolute worst, we're exactly where we are when we came. We're still in love. We still have each other. So, have a trip to New York. Yeah, got so, okay. to be in the Howard Stern show. I have no, no complaints. I mean, people are critical. People are judgmental. People could be mean, but, you know, we're not bad couple. So. There's nothing to lose by telling your story. That Absolutely right. nothing to lose. And if anything, this is a chance for us to say, this is who we are. We're sorry. We made a mistake. And now we can move forward. So I no regrets. None. Jeff, you talked about how you were married twice previously. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think this uh, marriage will work? Um, you know, now that I, I like to think that I've learned from every mistake. You know, first time I got married because I was in a hurry to get there because my parents were happily married. Second time I got married because there was no passion, but it would be content. Um, passion in life and having someone to share that passion with is what it's really all about, and I have that with Angie. Angie, you also discussed how you knew you missed prom and you sort of leapt from a high school student into into marriage, basically, mm -hmm. and now you're working and everything. Mm -hmm. Do you think eventually you'll? You know, have some regrets about you know some youth lost. Um, I've thought about that, and I get that all the time from my friends. But I, I'm with someone that loves me so so much, and you can't what trade that for prom or graduation. Like, I, I have enough foresight to be thankful for for him and not you know cry 
about the other stuff. So love will supersede any type of thing. We hope so, yeah. We'll, find out, yeah. <laughs> well, the best of luck to you two. It was certainly an interesting story. Maybe someone out there will uh, reach out and give you guys a hand. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks.